everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video well guys the new version of the little mermaid movie is coming out just in a couple of weeks and it means it's time for me to make the new ariel doll because i know that many of you have been really looking forward to watching this new movie and that you've been also waiting for me to make this new doll and today it's finally the day today we are going to make the new ariel and I've actually just made an Ursula doll just a couple of weeks ago, it's probably already a couple of months ago, I don't know, time flies, but not so long ago I've made an Ursula doll and I think that she ended up being absolutely legendary and epic. So if you have somehow missed the Ursula video, it's gonna be here, here is the link. So and today it's time for Halle Bailey's Ariel. And you know, me personally, I think that Halle Bailey is a perfect choice to become a new Ariel because she has this very cute very youthful energy to me at least like to me she really looks and feels like a very young mermaid girl so I'm also very excited about the movie and I'm also excited about this project today so let's keep this intro very short and let's start working but actually before I start this transformation I want to thank the sponsor of today's episode Skillshare I joined Skillshare a couple of years ago and since then I followed multiple classes on different topics improving my art and my online business and becoming better at photography, video editing, digital illustration and time management. But next to classes in photography, film and video editing and illustration, Skillshare offers hundreds of career focused classes as well. You can use Skillshare to learn how to build a successful career to fit you outside of the traditional 9 to 5 schedule. You can explore your creative and career options and learn what it takes to break into a creative industry as well as take classes to find your creative voice and style and gain more financial stability. And for this I can traditionally recommend you a couple of classes that I followed myself lately. And the first class is called How to Discover Profitable Design Trends Before Anyone Else and Create Artwork with Mass Appeal by Kat Coculette. It gives you multiple insider tips to identify trends early and shows how to create artwork and designs that will become insanely popular in the future and will earn you passive income for months or even years to come. I found this class really insightful and very, very, very useful and I'm really looking forward to implementing all this new information into my work. And the second class that I want to recommend you today is actually a shorter one because Skillshare has different format of classes on their platform. It's just 15 minutes long, but it's very important. And it's called Creative Confidence, Learn to Overcome the Critical Voice by Lucy Lambrix. And it's a part of the Inner Critic series. You know, I found this class very useful because many creators, including myself, strangely enough, have a very loud inner critical voice. And it's very important to know how to gain confidence and stay creative despite some inner fears and insecurities. It's a short 15 minutes class, but it's worth watching, really, guys. Plus, Lucy is a very cute and funny teacher, so watching her was a real pleasure. So guys, and if you want to try Skillshare, you can do it completely for free right now because the first thousand people to use the link in the description box under this video will get a one month free trial of Skillshare, so please go there and check it out. So thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and this being said, let's start the transformation. And don't forget to subscribe guys. Okay, this is the doll I will use today for my project and you know, I think this is a good choice. I think she will become an amazing Ariel in the end of this video. So now let's quickly go through all this preparation routine. I mean, like let's undress her, cut her hair off, cut off her ears, wipe off her face with acetone, apply patches to the holes in her head. I know it all sounds really scary, but everything will be okay in the end. Well, normally it will be. I expect it to be okay.
everything is gone, I seal her face with Mr. Super Clear Sealant and it will allow me to draw on her face with pencils and soft pastels. So, the goal today is to make a very cute and girlish face with not too much makeup, all very fresh, all very natural. So, we are making a young, cute mermaid girl. This is where I've ended up with her face so far, I will make her hair later and now I think I want to work on her body, I want to turn it from a human body into a mermaid one. And I'm going to begin with cutting her legs off and then I will make a base of the future tail out of warbler thermoplastic.
It doesn't have to be very pretty and perfect, I just need sort of a backbone or a fish bone to build the tail around of it. I've also sanded off this underwear because I don't think our mermaid will need anything like this. I'm sculpting the tail around it out of epoxy sculpt. You know, I've just bought new pots of this sculpt, and now after making just Ursula and Ariel, it will be all out. I don't know, I need to order more of it urgently because I didn't expect it to go that quickly. So this is the tail when the sculpt got dry and now I want to make a top for her out of warble thermoplastic. You know it's quite difficult to see her top in this movie trailer but I'm going off of this screenshot in my design and I will try to make something similar to it.
Good, this is how it all looks so far, everything seems to be okay, but we're not done yet, obviously, so let's continue. Now I want to make the tail, I mean like these fins on the end of this tail, and this time I want to try something different. Look, I've bought this fish tail silicone mold, and I want to try to use it for my Ariel. The size seems to be perfect, so let's try it. First of all, I will take golden pigments and I will cover all these bubbles and line on this mold with gold. Then I'm taking a light blue glitter and I'm covering the entire mold with it. Yes, it looks very shiny. Then I can fill it in with epoxy resin, add some more glitter to it and cure it with a UV lamp. This is what I've got, check it out, I don't know, it actually looks really good to me. Now I want to drill out some space here and then I will attach these fins to the doll's tail. Beautiful. I think it looks really beautiful. Now let's paint it all and cover it all with a layer of sticky leaf size. to use glitter to create that super shiny texture of a mermaid's tail. So now the tail is all sticky because of the leaf size that I've applied an hour earlier and now all this glitter will easily stick to the surface. I'm combining actually different shades of multi-chrome glitter, one is more turquoise, another one is more like ocean blue, and the third one is very light blue with a green and golden shift. And I will also use some purple glitter on the end of the tail.
When glitter doesn't stick to the tail anymore, I cover it all with a layer of glossy acrylic varnish and apply another layer of glitter on top of this wet varnish. And like this, guys, I've created a very glossy, very glittery, multi-dimensional, multi-chrome texture. I don't know, I think it looks very pretty and it can also be a very good idea for some of you who want to make maybe some mermaid dolls or if you want to upgrade your existing mermaid doll tails to make them more shiny. I'm using the same method on her top, I just didn't want to decorate the top and the bottom at the same time because otherwise all this glitter from the top would be falling to the tail without any control or any pattern. So I first let the tail dry and now I can repeat it all on the top. So this is it guys, we're almost done with her body and I just want to attach this kind of a skirt or how to call it, like fins around her waist and I will make it out of organza and then I will paint it with iridescent paint and add some glitter on top of it for extra shine because I want it to be see-through but very shiny at the same time. Okay guys, the body is finished, please check it out, it's so shiny, really not normal, absolutely amazing. It shines like a thousand of tiny diamonds, really very pretty, I'm obsessed with this shine, so pretty, really. So now I think it's time to work on her hair, and new Ariel has reddish brown hair, so I will use this acrylic yarn for it. But actually the new Ariel wears dreadlocks, very thin, very long dreadlocks. You know, I try to make thinner locks out of wool, but the result looks too thick anyway. Like, it's too thick for what I need in this project. But then look, this acrylic yarn made out of three threads twisted together. So, if we untwist it and make these thinner threads straight, we will get perfectly thin dreadlocks. This is exactly what I need in this project. And I think that this will be the best solution today. So let's prepare lots of these strands of locks and then I will glue them to the doll's head using tacky glue.
her hair the next day, I think it looks really amazing. It really looks like hundreds of thin dreadlocks. Very cool. I'm very happy with this solution. Now let's attach false lashes, let's add gloss to her eyes and lips, and then I'll take a look at the end result pictures. Guys, this is my finished Ariel, and I think that she really looks like Halle Bailey in the new movie trailer. I'm especially happy with her tail, because this is officially the sparkliest and the shiniest thing I've ever made on this channel. Of course, making a doll base just on a very short trailer is quite difficult, so please don't judge me too hard if I got some of the details a little bit wrong. But the movie will come out very soon, and then we'll finally see the new Ariel with all her details and special features. I'm really curious about it. And if there are any other interesting looks and outfits in the movie, then I might make another doll based on the new movie in the future. So, and for now, I really hope that you enjoyed my take on Ariel. Please, guys, let me know what you think about my work today. And if you're from the future, and if you have already seen the new Ariel movie, then please let us know what you think about this new adaptation. And this doll is right now available for sale on eBay, so please check out the link in the description box if you want this doll in your collection. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please, guys, don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon, in two weeks, on Friday, in my new doll repaint video. Love you, guys. Bye!